Take my chair. I will just put on my slippers. Ah. I think we should know the name of the gentleman whom we have the pleasure of assisting, don't you, Watson? John Robinson. Oh, no, no, no. Your real name. It is so awkward doing business with an alias. Well, then, uh, my real name's Ryder. James Ryder. Yes, Mr. Ryder. Up at attendant at the Hotel Cosmopolitan. Yes. And I suppose you would like to know what happened to these geese. Or rather, one goose in particular. White, with a grey head. Oh, sir, can you tell me where it went to? It came here. Here? Sadly, it is no longer here. But it laid an egg. After it was dead. The bonniest, brightest little blue egg you have ever seen. No. No. I have it. The game's up, Ryder. Bed up, man! You'll be in the fire! You know what a wretched little shrimp it is, to be sure. There's not enough blood in him for felony. I have almost every link in the chain, Ryder. You need tell me very little. Catherine Cusack put me up to it. Her ladyship's maid. Exactly. You knew from local gossip that Horner had been concerned in some such matter before. So what did you do? You made some small job in my lady's room. You and your confederate, Cusack. You then managed that Horner should be sent for. But you! You stole the jewel. Then you raised the alarm and had this unfortunate man arrested for some... For God's sake, Mr. Holmes. Have mercy. Think of my father, think of my mother, and break their hearts. Me, I, I never went wrong before, I never would again, I swear it, on the Bible. Oh, don't, don't bring me to court, Mr. Holmes. For God's sake, don't do that to me. Get back into your chair. It's very well to cringe and crawl now, but you thought little of the man that you sent to the dock for a crime of which he knew nothing. Oh, fly, Mr. Holmes. I'll leave the country. Then the charge against him will all break down. Hmm. We'll talk about that later. Now tell me. How came the stone into the goose? And how came the goose into the open market? Tell me the truth now, for that is your only hope of safety. I'll tell it to you just as it happened. I thought it was best to get away with the stone as quick as I could. For I didn't know at what moment the police might not take it into their heads to search me and my room. There was nowhere in the hotel where it would be safe. So I went out, as if on some commission, and made for my sister's house to think things over. Why, Jim, whatever is it? You look terrible. I, I had a bit of turn, Maggie. Did a robbery at the hotel. You'd better come in. I went through into the backyard where she kept the geese. Smoked a pipe and wondered what it would be best to do. I knew that my stomach wasn't going to stop feeling like a bag of ferrets till I found somewhere to hide the stone for a while. When suddenly, I looked at the geese which was hissing and huddling in the corner of the yard. My sister had told me that I might have the pick of her geese for a Christmas present. I picked out one of the birds a fine big one with a grey head. I pushed the stone down its throat as far as my finger could reach. And I thought all my troubles was over. When what are you doing with that bird, Jem? Uh, yeah, uh, 
Well, you said I might have one for Christmas. I was just feeling which is the fattest. We already set yours aside. Jim's bird, we call it. Uh, yeah, if, if it's all the same to you, Maggie, I'd rather have that one I was handling just now. Well, that one's a good three pounds heavier. We fattened it up expressly. Yeah, never mind. I'll take the other and I'll take it now. Just as you like. Which one is it? It's that grey-headed one in the middle. Oh, very well. Kill it and take it with you. I did what she said, Mr Holmes, and I carried the bird to my pal. We got a knife and we opened it up. My heart turned to water. There was no sign of the stone and I knew some terrible mistake must have occurred. Your Covent Garden. Tell me, just tell me, was there another one which had a grey head? That's right, too. I could never tell them apart, I couldn't. But what's the matter? What's all the hurry? I ran as hard as my feet would carry me to this man Breckenridge, but he'd sold the lot. And not one word would he tell me as to where they'd gone. I thought I was going mad. And now, I'm a branded thief, without ever having touched the wealth for which I sold my character. God help me. God help me. Get hard. What? Heavens bless you, sir. No more words. Get out. I must confess, Holmes, to being a little surprised. I am not retained by the police to supply their deficiencies. Maybe I am committing a felony, but I may be saving a soul. Send him to jail now, you make him a jailbird for life. Christmas, Holmes. And to you, my dear friend. Just a minute. Holmes, <laughs> I cannot contemplate eating while John Horner is still on remand. Now, do you suppose that Brad Street or one of his colleagues might still be at their desks? Hey, well, you're quite right, Watson. Come, let's go. 